Where would you go if a zombie apocalypse happened today? It's a question that tickles the imagination, isn't it? Well, we've done the brainstorming for you. We've scoured the United States, hunting down the top 10 locations that might just be your safe haven should the unthinkable occur. From underground bunkers to fortified mountains, these are the places designed to withstand the worst. So buckle up as we embark on this thrilling journey. Starting off our countdown, we venture into Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center in Virginia. This place isn't your typical weekend getaway. It's a fortress, built specifically to safeguard high-ranking government officials in times of national emergencies. Imagine a labyrinth of underground bunkers, each one designed to withstand the harshest conditions. These bunkers are more than just concrete and steel. They are a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. But what use is a bunker without a way to reach the outside world? That's where Mount Weather's advanced communication systems come into play. Even in the midst of a zombie apocalypse, this facility ensures that its occupants stay connected, fostering hope and maintaining order. And while we don't wish for such a catastrophe, it's comforting to know that places like Mount Weather exist. So if you're looking for a place to ride out a zombie apocalypse, this site has you covered. Now that's what we call a fortified stronghold. Next up, we have the Greenbrier Bunker in West Virginia. This isn't your average hideout, folks. Nestled beneath a luxury resort, it's a relic from the Cold War era. But don't let its age fool you. It's equipped with all the modern facilities you would need to survive a catastrophic event, including a zombie apocalypse. Imagine sipping on a fine vintage in the grandeur of a five-star resort while the world above grapples with the undead. Quite the juxtaposition, wouldn't you agree? The bunker's robust construction and strategic underground location make it an excellent choice for survival. The Greenbrier Bunker provides not just a safe haven but also a comfortable one. So, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, you could be living it up in style while waiting for the world to return to normal. Surviving in style, wouldn't you say? Let's move on to the Raven Rock Mountain Complex in Pennsylvania. This location, fondly known as Site R, is no ordinary place. It's an alternate pentagon designed to ensure the continuity of government operations in case of emergencies. Imagine a scenario where the unthinkable happens. The zombie apocalypse is upon us and the world as we know it has been turned upside down. Where would the government retreat to coordinate their efforts to fight back? That's right, the Raven Rock Mountain Complex, it's more than just a safe haven. It's a fortress designed to withstand even the most catastrophic events. The attention to detail in its design is truly remarkable with every aspect meticulously planned to ensure survival and continuation of operations, even when the outside world is falling apart. So, if you're looking for a place that's zombie-proof, the Raven Rock Mountain Complex is the place to be. A true fortress against the undead. Our next destination is the Cheyenne Mountain Complex in Colorado. Now this is not your typical mountain getaway, this place is a military installation ingeniously built right inside a mountain. The concept behind it is as fascinating as it is practical. By harnessing the natural defense of the mountain, this complex is designed to withstand a variety of threats. Imagine a fortress not built on a mountain but within it. Now that's some next level protection. This complex is prepared for everything from nuclear attacks to electromagnetic pulses. And yes, it's ready for a zombie apocalypse too. With a structure this fortified, you can bet it would keep out even the most determined undead. The Cheyenne Mountain Complex is more than just a shelter, it's a stronghold. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our instinct for survival. So when the going gets tough, remember there's always a mountain to retreat to. A mountain stronghold? Yes, please. Next, we visit Vivos X Point in South Dakota. Imagine a military base bristling with activity, then abandoned and left to the elements. Now picture that same base, but transformed into a beacon of hope for humanity in the face of a zombie apocalypse. That's the story of Vivos X Point. This sprawling complex was once home to military operations, a testament to human resilience and strategic prowess. But it's the recent transformation that's really fascinating. It's been converted into a survival community ready to house hundreds of people in the event of a catastrophe. And we're not talking about makeshift accommodation here, we're talking about state-of-the-art, fully equipped underground bunkers. These bunkers are designed to provide the safety and comfort needed to ride out any storm, including one brought on by the living dead. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our will to survive. Survival of the fittest indeed. Coming up next, we have FEMA Coop facilities. Now you might be wondering, what on earth are these? 
Well, these are the Federal Emergency Management Agency's Continuity of Operations facilities. They are spread all across the United States, designed to keep the wheels of government turning, come what may. Imagine a network of safe houses, each one built to withstand the worst of what the apocalypse can throw at it. These facilities are equipped with everything needed for survival, from food and water to medical supplies and communication systems. These places are essentially lifeboats for the nation, ensuring the continuity of government operations during the most dire of emergencies. So, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, these could potentially serve as the ultimate shelters. Remember, when the dead walk the earth, it's not just about surviving, it's about rebuilding and carrying on. It's good to know the government has our back. Next, we venture to the Trinity site in New Mexico. This place carries historical weight, being the ground zero for the world's first atomic bomb test. Its significance, however, isn't limited to the annals of history. In fact, it could be a lifesaver in a zombie apocalypse. How so, you ask? Well, let's consider its remote location. Situated in the heart of the Jornada del Muerto desert, it's far from the maddening crowds and potential hordes of zombies. The vast, harsh landscape could provide a natural barrier against the undead. Moreover, the Trinity site has a secured perimeter. The site is managed by the U.S. government, which means security measures are already in place. It's not your typical fortress, but when you're running from zombies, a bit of barbed wire and a watchtower could make all the difference. Historical and secure, a perfect combination. A little off the grid, we have the Diefenbunker in Canada. This fascinating relic of the Cold War era sits near the U.S. border, making it a viable refuge for our American friends in the event of a zombie apocalypse. It was originally constructed to safeguard Canadian government officials from nuclear threats. Now, imagine its solid concrete walls and labyrinthine corridors keeping the undead at bay. The Diefenbunker's close proximity to the U.S. border is a major plus. It's accessible enough for Americans to reach, yet its location in another country could potentially deter the zombie hordes. Don't worry about the cold Canadian winters, the bunker's subterranean design ensures a stable warm temperature year-round. So if you're planning your escape route and happen to be near the northern frontier, consider the Diefen Bunker. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a beacon of safety in a world overrun by the undead. A little international cooperation never hurt anyone. Back in the States, we have the NORAD headquarters in Colorado. Now, this isn't just any military facility. The North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, is a binational organization of the United States and Canada, tasked with the weighty responsibility of aerospace warning and control. Built within the formidable Cheyenne Mountain, this facility is no less than a fortress. Its robust construction is designed to withstand even the most severe threats, including nuclear attacks and electromagnetic pulses. But what makes it truly special in our context is its secure location. Nestled within a mountain, it's as close as you can get to zombie proof. Imagine this. You're not just surviving but thriving in a secure environment while maintaining a vigilant watch over the world outside. And let's not forget, with their advanced surveillance systems, you'd be the first to know if a zombie horde was on the move. That's one way to keep an eye on the skies. Finishing off our countdown, we have the Grand Canyon Caverns in Arizona. This natural wonder boasts an extensive network of underground accommodations, making it an intriguing prospect for surviving a hypothetical zombie apocalypse. These caverns are not just holes in the ground, oh no, they're a labyrinthine network of subterranean chambers, offering ample space to accommodate survivors. Imagine a cozy, albeit a bit chilly room devoid of sunlight, but safe from the monstrous undead lurking above. But the caverns are more than just a refuge. They have been marketed as a potential shelter for various disasters. So, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, you'd be in a place that's prepared for catastrophe, Moreover, the underground setting provides a natural barrier against the uninvited guests of the undead variety. Zombies may be relentless, but they're not exactly known for their rock climbing skills now are they? Underground and safe, what more could you ask for in a zombie apocalypse?